Oh, I screwed up big time. And I, it looks like it cost me a job. Because, uh, you know, I've, I've been applying to many different jobs since <coughs> uh, I quit my other one. And one of the jobs that I applied for was a camera operator for uh, th this minor league baseball team because uh, we don't have any major league sports in <laughs> where I live. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it was with this minor league team, I would be operating the camera uh, during home games. Uh, and, and yeah, yeah, sounded like a really cool job and uh, I applied for it, I think back in April and then last week I uh, hear back from the job <coughs> and uh, they were, uh, the, the guy who emailed me was asking if I could come in for an interview uh, and it was, the interview was supposed to take place the same day that he contacted me, which had never happened uh, to me before. Uh, yeah, usually they contact me and set up an interview later in the week. So, so yeah, yeah, this is the first it happened to me, but uh, for some reason I was thinking the interview was going to take place the next day. Uh, so I missed the interview and then the next day I was uh, set to go down and uh, interview. But uh, I look back at the email conversation uh, just to uh, uh, check some other thing. And that's when I saw my mistake. Uh, yeah, yeah, in, in, in one of the interviews, uh, he wrote, can you come in for an interview? from 4 to 4.30 today uh, and I guess I just stopped reading after the time. Uh, yeah, I just read, can you come in from an interview from 4 to 4.30 and then yeah, just stopped reading and this, yeah, that was the next day because I think I thought it was the next day because I had another uh, job interview over the phone uh, <clears throat> for a different job. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I, maybe I was thinking all my interviews were on the same day, but they weren't. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, and then the next day I tried calling the guy and uh, I spoke to an assistant or secretary, someone, and they, they told me that the guy was in another part of the, of the stadium uh, that didn't have phones installed yet or the, or the phones were working on it so he, he couldn't uh, talk uh, so uh, yeah yeah I didn't get to talk to him and, but the the person I did talk to uh, was friendly and and 
uh, tr try to reassure me that it was all right and everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, and then uh, I sent another email to the guy uh, just apologizing and seeing if I could get another interview. Uh, and then I heard back from him saying that uh, all the positions have been filled up and uh, if, if anyone leaves their job, he'll contact me again. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, I guess I won't get that job unless someone leaves, but I, I don't know how likely that is. But yeah, I actually was uh, excited about this job because even though it's all it's only part time work and I would only be working during home games, uh, it kind of fit into my wheelhouse that I went to college for. Uh, which was for film and video. Uh, and yeah, it sounded like a job that would kind of be in that field. Uh, I mean, I, I would be working with a video camera, so that that would be great. Yeah, <laughs> and it would uh, the job would go until the fall, so it, it wouldn't be one of these short one day or one weekend uh, uh, gigs that I've been getting usually. So yeah, yeah, it just sounded really great, but I messed up. And yeah, I'm really mad at it, mad, mad at myself. Uh, but uh, although the good news is that the uh, other job that I had, the the other interview for uh, that day, that's still looking good. I guess. I, I've had to do, they've, uh, they've had me come back for a couple interviews and I have one more in-person interview uh, to do with them next week. So yeah, it's, uh, looking good for that job, but I still wanted the, the uh, baseball camera operator job. Uh, I, I would prefer that one. Uh, yeah, and, but, but I just had not misread the emails. Uh, then maybe I would have gotten it. And, which has happened to me before. Uh, uh, when I'm reading all like uh, skip over words uh, in, in sentences uh, like like you will say this did not happen the, this event did not happen but then I'll read this event did happen and then the, the rest of the paragraph will be how it didn't happen but then I'll have to go back up and reread that sentence to see what I misread. And also, uh, I remember, and the word was region, but I read it as religion. Okay. Yeah, just I'm just not sure if it's dyslexia or just just me to, like I, I just have problems reading sometimes which, which you know might, might be why I, 
uh, I don't read as often as I would like to. And also, I think it could be why I prefer to read like uh, graphic novels or comic books. Uh, like I, I, I did a video uh, about about this, the the uh, graphic novels I like to read. Yeah, because the the words are in a different font, so it looks different. Uh, and uh, of course, there's a whole bunch of pictures. Yeah, there's less words to read with pictures. Um, so yeah, that's nice, but the words are in a different font for graphic novels and comic books. So I think that style of font might actually make it easier for me to read. Because it doesn't seem like I make the same kind of mistakes uh, uh, I, I usually do when I read uh, when I'm reading graphic novels. I, I don't know, maybe. I'm so mad at myself that I made that dumb mistake and uh, it cost me a job that I really wanted. But uh, this other job that I've, I'm currently interviewing for still, still seems good. So it still, still seems like a nice place that, that I can work. But, but just not film and video related, which which is why I really wanted the, the camera operator job. But, but I guess there's nothing I can do now. So uh, yeah, I hope, hopefully things work out with the other job. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, until next time, goodbye.